Hello students. In today's class, we'll learn about ribotyping and fame analysis, which are methods that are used in molecular taxonomy. So uh, ribotyping method generates a specific pattern of bands, which is a kind of a signature or a fingerprint, which is known as a ribotype. So in this, DNA from the organism is digested by a restriction enzyme, and the fragments that are generated are separated by agarose gel electrophoresis and probed with a rRNA gene probe. The differences between the organisms in the sequence of their 16S rRNA gene translates into the presence or absence of sites cut by different restriction endonucleases. The ribotype of a particular organism may therefore be unique and diagnostic, allowing identification of different species and even different strains of a species. Coming to the methodology, of ribotyping. First, we need to isolate the genomic DNA of the organism. Then the DNA is digested with a specific restriction enzyme and the fragments that are generated are separated by agarose gel electrophoresis. The fragments are then blotted onto a nylon or a nitrocellulose uh, membrane and are probed using our RNA gene probe. The patterns of the fragment that are generated on the gel are then digitalized and they are compared with the patterns of the reference organism already present in the database. Ribotyping is a highly specific and a rapid method because it bypasses the requirement of PCR sequencing, sequence alignment and sequence analysis steps. Ribotyping has found many applications in clinical diagnostic and the microbial analysis of food, water, and beverages. In the image, we can see a typical ribotype of four different lactic acid bacteria. And as you can observe, they have uh, different patterns, which are basically signature of the particular organism. Next, we'll discuss about FAME analysis. So FAME analysis is widely used in characterization of new species of bacteria. The method is often used in combination with other methods of microbial taxonomy. Uh, the method FAME analysis basically stands for fatty acid methyl ester analysis, and it has widespread application in clinical, public health, food and water inspection. The fatty acid composition of a bacterium varies from species to species in its chain length and in presence and absence of double bonds, rings, branch chains, or hydroxyl group. Hence, the fatty acid profile of an organism is unique and can be used for identification of a particular bacterial species. So for fame analysis, first we need to grow the bacterial uh, cells in culture and separate the cells by centrifugation from the uh, bacterial growth medium. Once the cells are separated, then the uh, cells are lysed and their fatty acid component is extracted and they are further derivatized to chemically convert them into methyl ester forms. The fatty acid methyl ester forms are volatile in nature and are prerequisite for their analysis by gas chromatography. The gas chromatographic analysis can tell you what are the different types of fatty acid methyl esters that are present in your sample in the form of different peaks. Also, you can determine the amount of that particular uh, fatty acid methyl ester present in the given sample. Once we have information about the different types of fatty acids and their amounts, then uh, we compare the pattern of the peaks with the pattern in the database, and this will help in identification of the unknown microorganism. So the same methodology is, uh, as I just explained, is written in this slide for your reference. Thank you very much. Kindly like, share and subscribe to the video if you like the contents.